What is the right golf shoe for you? And which of these is the best golf shoe of 2024? Well, we've tested over 25 pairs of the latest and greatest golf shoes. I've got six categories. I've got one overall winner. Let's get started. So as I mentioned there, 25 shoes on test today. And if you like the look of any of them for yourselves, go and check out some handy links I've put down in the description where you can find the best price on these golf shoes in your location. So six categories. I'm starting with best spike this year because I feel like we're in a really great era for spike golf shoes from these big manufacturers. Put a lot of time and a lot of money into developing these just right. So a few shout outs for my category winner. Uh, this is the Puma Phantom Cat Nitro. First impressions are good. I love the way it looks. And, and look at this unique outsole with these integrated cleats that look, they look very vicious, don't they? I love the color of them as well. Uh, very low profile. And I've always liked Puma Spike Golf Shoes. So I bet that's gonna be a good one. But uh, another shout out, the Nike Victory Tour 3s. Now these are Roy McElroy's shoe of choice a very aggressive spike shoe i think as all nike shoes are they're a little bit narrower and a little bit firmer than its competitors here some people like that feel um, and if so this is a great shoe for you with a really comprehensive outsole so i love the look of this one and another pretty complete spiked golf shoe uh, final shout out to the under armor drive pro now this shoe was developed from the ground up by Under Armour's team. Um, it's got something called the Swing Support System in it. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail in that bit by bit, but it's a pretty comprehensive system that gives your foot a fantastic locked in supported feeling. It's one of those golf shoes that sort of allows your foot to move where it needs to, but then supports it in parts of the swings it needs to as well. Definitely softer than some Under Armour shoes with that firmness still in there. I think you could have complained in, in previous Under Armour shoes, they were a bit too firm all around, but this one strikes that balance really nicely and has got a great outsole with Under Armour's own spikes in there. They developed them themselves to their very exacting specifications. So very impressive there. The only thing stopping it being my category winner is the materials aren't quite as premium as these three here. They're a little bit scratchy in places. So for your 150 quid, I don't feel like your money goes quite as far from a feel perspective, but I don't deny the technology in here is superb. But uh, my category winner, the last one left here is the Adidas Tour 360. 24. Now, the Tour 360 silhouette, the franchise, is nearly 20 years old now, and Adidas listened really closely to feedback from the media, from people who wore the last generation in 2022, and have really fixed some of the issues. The biggest one being the rubbing on the back of the heel. That has now totally gone. It's been totally redesigned from a shape perspective and has this new suede and, and microfiber uh, material on it, which is way more durable and super super soft. So if you've ever had a problem rubbing on Adidas shoes before, that is gone now. Um, and there's premium materials used throughout this that make for a, a shoe that fits really well, is incredibly comfortable, and has got a really impressive outsole. You can see I've worn this plenty with the amount of mud on here at the minute, uh, but it's a great outsole as well. So from that, for that holistic approach, really looking at every element of a golf shoe, Adidas have nailed it. And this is my favorite spiked for 24. Right, next up then, let's talk about spikeless golf shoes. And now the market here is much bigger, much, much bigger. And you can see from the variety I've got in front of me here from the likes of New Balance, Duca Del Cosma, Nike, there are these sort of sneakery, trainery style ones creeping in, which I love. And we're gonna talk about that in more detail later. But let's focus on the performance, out and out performance spikeless golf shoes you can get right now. So a couple of shout outs, and I wanna start with the G4 Galavantor. Now look, look at this golf shoe. Can we just spend a minute with it alone? I love it, it looks amazing. It's a, a hybrid of G4's MG4 Plus and the Galavanta, the sort of Brogue style one that I think has just made. This, this beautiful mixture of like a classic Brogue shoe with a bit of sportiness to it. And as always with G4, a pop of color on this outsole. I, I love how this golf shoe looks. Um, listen, the outsole has got 13 different sort of traction points here. It's not the most convincing, it's fine in, in damp weather and great in dry weather, but it's not as good as the others I'm gonna talk about. Um, but G4, as always, carry over technology, shoe after shoe, and this nubbed massaging insole. Again, I love it. I'm in love. I love this shoe. It's a great shoe. Um, another shout out needs to go to the new FootJoy Pro SLX carbon version, this one. And now Pro SL's an eight year old franchise now. And I think this is the most drastic change FootJoy's made to it, definitely from a looks perspective at least. You can see 
this external heel stabilizer on here now and the pops of color through the middle and on the outsole that sort of hark to the Hyperflex and the fuel that have been released over the last couple of years. I really like it. It's a real step up for the Pro SL franchise for me. And the outsole is superb, a really unique design and, and something I think is changing the school of thought on outsoles. We normally see them just cut the spikeless ones covered in just, uh, traction nubs just everywhere, but there's a bit of a less is more approach now. And this one basically, this X shape through the middle, which is made of carbon, as you swing, pushes the force of the feet to the perimeter and then engages this sort of racetrack style outsole here that has different points of traction. Think of it almost like an F1 car, right? Where it's pushing all the forces out to the side of the car, to the wheels. This outsole is doing that as you're swinging um, and you can really feel it at work. It's one of the true spikeless shoes you can wear all year round in terrible weather, in great weather. So uh, a great job from Fort Joe once again, looking after that Pro SL range that I know a lot of people love myself included. But my winner for this category is this, the Under Armour Drive Pro SL. Now I've just spoken about the Drive Pro, the spiked version, but I think this new swing support system and the outsole is a more complete spikeless shoe than it is a spike shoe. That's why it's my winner in this category. And this outsole is it's a hybrid. It uses TPU nubs here and plastic ones here to give you a bit more grip where you need it, but then a bit more flex where you need it as well. It's got the same lacing system and the same midsole technology as the spiked one. And so as I said earlier, it gives you that sensation of support through the swing where you need it, but that flex and that softness where when you're walking and when you're doing other things in this shoe, that you simply need as well. So massive shout out to Under Armour this year for what they've done in totally redesigning the shoe for biomechanic support. And it's my winner in the spikeless category. <laughs> So for my next category, I want to spend some time looking at some shoes that you can pick up right now for under £100 or $100, right? I think this is a really important category to look at. And there are a load of options, some shoes released this year, or ones that carry over from 2023. Now, these didn't initially retail under 100 but my research, I can snoop around now and find them for under that. So again, if you want to check out the links in the description, for every shoe you've seen today, you'll find the best price in your location right now. So, some shout outs, Nike. You can pick up the Jordan 1 Lowe's, which I love. Great on off course shoe for under £100 now. And you think of the versatility you'll get from this, not wearing it just to the course, but the range and elsewhere. There's some good value there. Performance shoe wise, there's a load of great options as well. The Painter X003F, it's around £100 or £110 at the minute, but one of the best performance spike shoes I've tried recently. And if you want something a little bit bolder, a little bit brasher, the Adidas Code Chaos. 22 is another great spikeless shoe that, you know, around sales periods, Black Friday, those kind of things, Christmas, you can pick this up for like 70 or 80 pounds now, um, and they're a really good gold shoe. If spiked is more to your taste, the Puma Ignite Articulate, this was released last year, one of my favorite spike shoes from last year, is now available well under 100 pounds. Uh, a beautiful looking shoe as Puma shoes tend to be with a low profile spiked outsole. What more do you need? And under 100 pound, there's some great value there. Something a bit more classic, Footjoy Tradition Spikeless. You can find this around £100 now if you're looking for that sort of classic brogue shape. You don't have to spend through the nose for these things. You can get a great looking shoe for less than £100. But my winner is actually a brand new shoe from 2024. It's the Adidas S2G. This retails at £89. And as I was speaking about with the Nike, you get great value from a shoe that has great versatility. One that you can wear to the range, that you can wear to the course, that you can wear to the pub, you can wear to the shops, wherever you want because of how they sort of blend in into every environment, don't they? Um, this is a great example of it. It's got a brilliant outsole whereby it gives you enough grip on the golf course, but then isn't cumbersome on hard surfaces. You don't feel like you're standing you know, on stilts or something. And as with all Adidas shoes, great attention to detail, a beautiful classic sneaker trainer style look. And for me, if you're spending under hundred pounds this year, best shoe to go for. For my next category, I want to spend some time talking about comfort. And I can appreciate this is a subjective area. We all have different preferences and different shaped feet, but there's a few bits of technology I want to point out that, that sort of fit this bill, right? And the first comes from the Footjoy Pro LX Carbon. Now, in this, you get the Ortholite Impressions Fitbed, which I first tried on last year's Hyperflex. And geez, it's good. It is really soft really cushioned, it molds to your foot over time, and it's got the right amount of softness without allowing your foot to roll around in the shoe 
when you're playing, which you don't want when you're playing golf. So I think if you know that immediate softness is something you're after, this is a great option for that. Foot joy, nailed that again. Next up, Skechers, a brand renowned for comfort, has nailed it again. Not their best looking shoe, this one, the Go Golf Blade, I'll be honest. I don't think this colorway is the best for it. But um, great arch support, so if you're flat footed, these are the kind of shoes you want to go for just to help raise that foot up a little bit and, and reduce fatigue. And it's got a really, it's got a heel pillow, and it really is a pillow, it's huge. Um, and feels fantastic. So if those are areas, the heel or the arch of your foot where you find a bit of fatigue, a bit of aching, a sketchy shoe is the one to go for. The blade will do that, even if it's not their best looking shoe ever. And the Adidas Tour 360 24, again, the quality of fit, uh, a bit more arch support than previous Adidas shoes and the premium materials, that makes for a comfortable shoe in its own right, in, in, in a different way to the others, but a quality of fit is a, is a type of comfort is what I'm trying to get out there. Uh, however, my winner for this category is another brand renowned for comfort. It's Echo, their new LT1 shoe is superb. I tested it in the Boa lacing system, which is something that some shoes get right and some shoes don't. This one's nailed it. I think it really suits this style of shoe. Um, it's a lot lighter than previous Echo shoes and that lightness really reduces foot fatigue over time. And again, it's just a very nice, soft premium shoe. Not Echo's best looking shoe, in my opinion. I think the C4 from a couple of years ago was better looking, but for out and out comfort, that LT1 is an absolute winner. So for my next category, I'm gonna talk about the best looking shoe. Again, I know another subjective one, but I thought I'd spend some time looking at the best looking Brogue style shoes. You can see from the group in front of me here, as much as sneaker trainer styles are coming in, Plenty of brands are still making great looking classic golf shoes, I guess we'd call them. Um, so I want to point out a few and see which one I prefer the most. Now, Duca del Cosma is a brand that absolutely nails this with attention to detail in the stitching, Italian fabrics, classic looks, um, and some pretty bold colors every now and again as well to mix it up. I think they're a brand that if you appreciate this kind of style of golf shoe, you really need to check out because there's plenty of options there. And then you've even got brands like Puma and Echo coming into this space as well. The Avant and the Classic Hybrid here, which I think are still two really good examples of these kind of style of shoe, well detailed, nicely produced. And to see other brands doing this is great and giving us more options can only be a good thing, right? But my winner for the best looking, sort of already mentioned it in the spikeless section, but it's, it's G4, just G4 in general, make me happy. And I think that's what, you need when you're buying a golf shoe. You want to feel that happiness, that excitement to buy a new golf shoe. And the, and the Galavan Tour here, just for me, just does lots of things to me. And if you want that feeling when you're buying a shoe, a classic looking shoe, G4 are the way to go. You can see that's the Galavan Tour, that's the Galavan Tour. Um, this one inspired this one, as you can see. Um, and just all G4 shoes just sort of bring out that excitement, that joy in me to put on a new pair of shoes. So that's for me, the best looking shoe. Right, this is my final category in this video is going to be focusing on a trend I've alluded to across the video is this sort of on, off course, let's call it a hybrid golf shoe. Something you can wear from the moment you leave your house, go play golf, do whatever else you need to and still feel like you're not in a golf shoe basically. And this trend's emerging from established brands like Adidas, New Balance, Nike, but as well as some other sort of more golfy brands, Duca del Cosma, True Links Wear, other brands are doing these kind of shoes. So I want to point out some of my favorites. And if you're a Nike fan, the choice is pretty much endless. They've turned a lot of their classic sneakers, trainer styles into golf shoes. And they don't just slap an outsole on as though it may look. These, still, these are still made for golf, it's worth noting. So you've got the shoes like the Jordan Low 1Gs. My favorite is the Air Max Pegasus here, um, just for the color really. And this is one of my favorite styles before it got turned into a golf shoe anyway and the same goes with adidas if you're an adidas fan you've got stan smith you've got ultra boost you've got samba you've got the new s2gs if you've got a favorite shoe you like wearing off the course you could now buy a golf shoe version of it which i think is fantastic and the same goes with new balance who are sort of coming into the into the game for the first time or at least first time for a while with some of their classic designs and these are really great sort of lightweight on off course trainers but i want to talk about my favorite brand and i could have picked any shoe um, from this brand true links where for the best hybrid golf shoe because they really nail the brief when it comes to that. This is the All Day Knit 3. It's my favorite from their range and it's super lightweight, this gorgeous fabric material and I think it looks really trendy as well. Now listen, I'm not gonna be playing my Sunday medal in these but for a casual nine holes in an evening or even just going to the range in 
they sort of fit that casual aesthetic and are, are, are made really nicely as well. You've got the Lux Hybrid as well is another one of theirs I really like. I could have picked a handful, but I've gone for the All Day Knit 3. Um, but if you're a bit of a sneakerhead, a bit of a sneaker nerd, just a fan of shoes in general, this space is fantastic. You can really express yourself, uh, whether it's Nike, whether it's Adidas, New Balance, whatever. However, I think True Links wears one, people should really check out. So there you have it, my six winners from my six categories, and I hope that sort of helps you understand which golf shoe's right for you this year, because there is a lot out there. And if there's a shoe I haven't mentioned, or one you think should have got some more love from the ones behind me here, let me know down in the comments. I am a shoe geek, I am a shoe weirdo. I really want to hear from you about this stuff, and I will be looking down in those comments to see what you've got to say. But I've got to pick an overall winner. If I was spending my money this year on a pair of golf shoes, which would I go for out of our fine selection here in the studio today? Now, which is it going to be? Which do you think it is? It had to be. It was always going to be this. It's the Adidas Tour 360 24. For me, the perfect spike golf shoe. Nearly the perfect shoe I've ever tried in the three years I've been testing golf shoes now. And it was just Adidas's sort of holistic approach to creating this. No stone went left unturned. The total redesigns really work. The materials are brilliant, the fit's brilliant, and I've always loved Tour 360. So to see it treated this well, looked after this well by a brand like Adidas is fantastic. So if it was my money and I was going to the shops, this is what I would be going for. But feel free to disagree with me. Should it have been something else behind me here or something else entirely I've left out? Let me know down in those comments. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.